Hi, this is the video uh, for the essay about the book to movie comparison. So you have read a book and for let's pretend it is The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe like I read to you on um, YouTube. Now this isn't the copy I read. This is the complete set, all seven books I think it is, um, but you had the book, you read the book. Now you know there's a movie. Or maybe you've already seen the movie and decided you were going to read the book. It doesn't matter to me which order you do them in. The idea is that you're going to do a compare and a contrast. So I do. I have the book for Narnia for The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I make sure that I do both. I've read the book and I've watched the movie. And now I need to write my five paragraph essay. On my website, there is an outline for how to do this essay. Um, you can do it that way if you wish. Uh, what I found is that most people in the past didn't use that outline. Um, and that's okay. So if you decide not to do it that way and you wanna focus on similarities and differences, um, you may do it that way. So what you see on the website, it basically follows the elements of plot, similar to that other essay. And if you need help with that and you wanna watch the other video on how to do the plot essay, it'll give you some information for that. So what it has you doing is um, telling the difference between the book and the movie as far as what happens in the beginning, what happens with conflicts, how the climax is different or similar, how they are the same and the, um, the same with how they end. But I think it's a lot easier for you as you watch a movie to go, that's not what happened in the book. And you might be keeping notes. You might be saying, this is what happened in the book and this is what happened in the movie. These parts are the same. Oh, they did a good job with that. So what you need to do before you write it though is not just write everything out as far as what was the same or different because that could be a really long essay and not necessary. So similar to what I had said in the other video, introduce your essay. You have an introductory paragraph. You need to introduce what book it is. Make sure you put the title of the book and what movie it is. Sometimes they do not have the same title. So make sure that you put that in there. I didn't say this in the previous videos, but when you type those, you have a title of either a book or a movie, they should be in italics. If you are handwriting it, then a title of a book or a movie should be underlined. You can underline it if you're typing as well. We won't get too nitpicky about that. So introduce the, the two titles and the fact that you are going to go over similarities and differences. That might be it for your introduction. You could get a little more into it if you'd like. You could have a whole paragraph on how the book, the book and the movie are the same. You can have a whole paragraph on how they're different. You need a third body paragraph though, and you need to decide what will that topic be. Maybe it'll be your opinion. It might be how you feel about the similarities and the differences. You might be telling me which one was better. I loved the book better because blah, blah, blah. And this, or vice versa, some people like the movie better. Um, so it could be a paragraph on that, or maybe there were so many differences you need to go on for another paragraph. Then you conclude. Once again, you restate what your topic was, and then you summarize your main points of your, of, um, your body paragraphs in your essay. I hope this was helpful to you, and if you're still in summer, have a great rest of your summer. Otherwise, hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.